Uh, <laughs> Yell to HP says that's a lot of soju. Yep. We drank Beck said you. <laughs> B A E K space S E J U. Guys, you should try it. It's good stuff. Oh, my commentator picture again. Thanks, Brian. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. He usually has his pullover. Yeah, but he's dressed nice. His pullover. Is that not something you can say? No, it is. Left field 1983 asks, should you ever fold top pair to one bet or two bets? I would say 80% of the cases, no, but there's always cases where, you know, there are exceptions. You just, how the action comes out, the board runs out. And nobody is going to watch this far into the broadcast because all of us, so it doesn't matter. Natalia stealing queen seven of spades. Let's see, see if she can get away with it. Zach. And she does. There's uh, 59 bucks in her pocket. <laughs> the importance of stealing. That's all I needed. She did. It was a fair of a lot, too. Thank you for all the thumbs up, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I know most people out there want to watch a No Limit stream. It is the most accessible form to watch, but Live with the Bike is edutainment, entertainment, and education. We're here to help people get better at poker, maybe play for a living. It's the best resource because it's realistic, nitty and gritty. You can't just memorize stuff off a chart. WJL says playing limit has actually improved my no limit game. Very true. Yeah, you just got to play all forms of poker. You actually uh, learn different concepts in different forms that you actually help the other forms of poker. <laughs> Jesse raises under gun plus one, a six of hearts. Yeah. Natalia <laughs> calls in the cutoff pocket threes in position. <laughs> favorable spot for Natalia. Set of threes, very favorable now. Shout to Andrew Nimi. Yeah. Ace on the turn, going to get Jesse in some trouble. Natalia just calls, maybe raise the river. Good job, Natalia. In the case that Jesse was bluffing on the turn, she didn't want to get Jesse to fold. And Jesse maximum pays out to Natalia. Three ball, corner pocket. Limit Hold'em is not a solid game. Heads up, Limit Hold'em is minorly solved, as is no limit. Heads up. But. You know, it's awesome. way far away. Oh, Games are very complicated. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you count those. <laughs> no, it's 800. You're right. <laughs> and they also look so much. That's, yeah, they feel really nice. Jenny Plop asks, what's a good example of something you can learn from Limit Hold'em that you could apply to no Limit Hold'em? One is uh, in multi-way pots, basically raising people off of their hand when you have a marginal hand yourself that um, is not going to be able to withstand multi-way action. After this hand, I'll talk about it more. Jesse, ace-queen off under the gun, raises uh, to 80. Joshua, under the gun, plus two. I'm going to start way early. Three bets. These are and Natalia pocket jacks and the hijack. Cap it up. Look at she's so happy, and she's in a lot better shape than she thinks she is. They're having fun. Garcia going to try to make something happen with seven eight of clubs. Four players. Pocket Jack's going to stay ahead. Garcia is the one kind of in trouble. Check, check, check. Check, check to Natalia. She's going to bet. Mm. 
just it just, it just keeps me comfy. Yeah, it's like it's like a therapeutic, you know, like a little stress ball. Well, it works really well when you still have them. When you have to buy in with them, Three it's bets. Like the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you Yesterday when I had to convert these to racks, I was like, God, this is miserable. Oh, Heads yeah. up. Un very Great jam by Metalia, getting a good read ball. that and Garcia does not have a 10. So always bring more other Going to get a lot of value here. Ace Jack of Diamonds would have had a backdoor diamond draw. And Natalia is going to be happy to see a 10 and take a massive one with pocket jacks over a $1,000 pot. So an example of uh, a concept and limit that would carry over to no limit is say somebody raises early position, um, you call with like ace nine of spades and the cutoff and the big blind calls and the flop is um, nine eight nine eight five so seven six would make a straight um, check to the preflop raiser they raise or sorry they continuation bet in limit hold'em you would raise to like thin the field um, fold out the equity of the other guy which if they had like 7-8 or 7-6 or 5-6, they have a pair and a gut shot. So instead of just calling on 9-8-5 in this case, you would put in a raise um, to kind of like slow down the preflop raiser. And if the big blind had some kind of a combo draw or jack-10 open-ended on the top end, you fold them out and you increase your equity. Joshua under the gun plus one, seven eight of spades, raises. And takes it down. Eight high like a boss. Fifty nine bucks. It's just like if you call for a card and you come, you gotta bet. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, you know how many times Joshua does that call for card and people call him? Like today? T. Krupka says you would never call an early position raise with ace nine of spades or ace nine suited. I disagree. Sometimes Don't need to delve into that. <laughs> if you're folding ace nine suited against certain opponents um, and no limit, I think that's incorrect. Jenny Plop, in the case that I said, yes, I would uh, advise doing that. I actually have done it on the show, and the person commenting at the time didn't realize that I was thinking to fold out equity and get people with draws to fold out to increase my equity. Because obviously if you have ace nine in the flops, nine, eight, five, somebody with jack 10 can hit a seven, a queen, a jack, or a 10 for a winner. But if you make them fold in no limit, they lose all their equity. And you just get the entire pot uncontested. Jeans pocket eights way ahead in position. Natalia going to draw. Zach also going to draw. The back door flush draws. Checked around. It's probably a face card. Yep, it's a face card. Eights are going to stay ahead. Gene, check the turn because a lot of drawing hands will be like ace king, ace queen, king queen, which queen got there. You're good. Really didn't think it was better than